guys, it's Kat. Welcome to a new video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad that you found me, and if you found your way back, thank you so much for coming back. So I'd seen a couple videos about these Timu hauls and everything, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little suspicious to begin with. I thought it was gonna be very much like Wish, and I wasn't 100% sure, so I decided I would place a very small order to begin with. Just a little one, I think I spent like $25 or $30 altogether just to check them out. And I have to say, it's not bad from what I've seen. So I will go ahead and show you what I got in this teeny tiny little haul. You'll see here's the bag right here. Like I said, it's not very much. So the first thing is this is like a Lego set. It's obviously not Lego. It's like an off brand, but my daughter has a friend who really likes plants and I thought this was actually really cute that we would keep for her and you can build your own and they had a whole bunch of different sets. But we thought this one in particular was pretty cute and I think this one was like $3.99 or something like that. So it's not a bad price and it's very, very cute. Um, so yeah, there's apparently eight different combinations that you can get. But we got this one. We got this. It's just like a little Lego minifig. But it's Steve from Stranger Things in his Scoops Ahoy outfit. And then you put the rest of it together. I'm actually going to throw this into my Easter basket. Which you will see uh, closer to Easter time. I'll do what's in my family's Easter baskets. This will also go in an Easter basket. This will go to my husband though. This again is not actual Lego. It's like a, a knockoff brand, but look how cute this is. Fries and a drink. And we thought that was super, super cute. They also had like a burger and I think maybe a hot dog, but I thought he would get a kick out of this. And you can kind of see on the inside there, it does look like there's some sort of instruction. Here it is. Sorry. Then there's also this. I have an aunt who has handicaps where she just likes getting like a whole lot of stuff for Christmas. She doesn't necessarily use it. She just likes to have it. One of the things she really enjoys is jewelry. So I always try and find some real inexpensive jewelry. And this I actually think is really, really pretty, especially for what I paid for it. But it is like a hummingbird necklace. And I think they had a couple different colors, but this was very inexpensive, but I went ahead and grabbed it because like I said, she likes stuff like that. And I'll just put it like in a nice box for her. And then, so every year we do like the chocolate advent calendars. The past two years I bought them because I couldn't find my big reusable barn, but we finally found it. So then I'm just going to put like the little chocolate balls inside for the two older kids and then Benji will get whatever. He doesn't really eat chocolate. But I also wanted to kind of get them something that wasn't just food that they could open every day leading up to Christmas. And a bunch of their block, like their advent calendars were on sale. Now I think each of these cost me somewhere between five and eight dollars, which advent calendars that have like toys inside usually go for way, way more than that. So this one is a, for my daughter, Isabel, and this is a bracelet blind box. And it comes with like the chain and different charms. And I thought this was really, really neat. So I went ahead and got that for her because I know that she would enjoy that. For Wesley, and this, I have to admit, looks exactly like the box. It's a Pokemon one, and you'll see on the back, it's got the little ones, and I guess this is a little Pokemon figure for each day leading up to the 24th, so I think he'll get a kick out of that. He does seem to be getting into Pokemon a little bit. He got really into Kirby, and Kirby somehow was like the gateway into Pokemon, even though Kirby's not a Pokemon even though I thought he was for a very long time, but he's not. So, <laughs> but he started slowly getting into Pokemon. 
And then the last thing is the blind box that I got for Benji, and I know that he will like this a whole lot. It is a blind box of little rubber ducks. I know that he will like this a whole lot. He really likes playing with rubber ducks. Not even necessarily in the tub. He just sort of likes rubber ducks. And so I picked him up this. So, like I said, it was just very small to start with. That's all I did. Um, I think I'm going to maybe do one where I get some clothing from them to see how it fits. If it runs small, if it runs more true to size, if it's really cheap, if it doesn't look anything like the picture. So I think I might do that. And then I might get a few other uh, like toys from Timu to see if they are going to, um, if they're a good quality or if they're obviously like a really bad quality or anything like that. So I think I'll do a couple more videos like these, um, especially if you guys like this one. Like I said, it was just very small. It was just to start with to see how everything was going to go. All right, guys. I will catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.